the stage all the way from Scotland, it's Ray Bradshaw. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, yeah, my name's Ray. Uh, I'm from Scotland. I'm very proud to be Scottish. Uh, I'll tell you why. I've come dressed as the flag. Uh, that's how proud I am. Uh, the best thing I've ever seen in my life happened a Saturday night in Glasgow where I live. I went to go meet my mates in the pub. They were drunk. I was sober, so I tried to avoid them. Walked into the toilet. Half 11 on a Saturday night, I walk into the toilet. There's a man standing in the corner of the toilet just like this. And this guy's so drunk, he's trying to dry his hands under a condom machine. <laughs> I was like, I love this country, man. And I watched him, he's quite drunk. And I heard the door open behind me, a couple of footsteps, and they stopped. And I turned around, there was a man looking at me quite accusatorily, as if to say, why are you just hanging around a toilet? And I realised I was blocking his view, he couldn't see the drunk guy. So I took two steps back, and I pointed at the guy, and he's pissed. He's still just standing there like... <laughs> and this is why I'm proud to be Scottish. The man that had walked in summed the situation up beautifully. He looked at me, he looked at the guy, he looked at me looking at the guy, then said a sentence that will live with me to the day I die. He just looked at me and went, should we just make the noise? We, we made the noise, we made the noise. Um, we stopped after about four seconds because we were just essentially blowing a stranger in the toilet. And um, <laughs> it's, nice, it's nice to be here, it really is. I've done stand-up for a while. People always ask you how you get into it. I had a different upbringing to imagine most people in this room in that my mom and dad are both deaf. I grew up learning sign language, I'm fluent in sign language. It was the first language I ever learned. And any time I tell people that, they always ask me the same question. What's it like growing up with deaf parents? And it's fine, it's cool, until you run out of toilet roll. <laughs> Some of you will get that tomorrow, but it's an absolute belter. Um, <laughs> and I, I do shows in sign language now, so I do all my shows in sign language. And the most common question we get asked is what's the best thing about having deaf parents? Two things. One, when I was a kid, if I was watching TV and my mum started hoovering and it was really loud, I could just unplug the hoover and still watch TV. That was good. <laughs> Um, and secondly, knowing sign language, there'll be people in this room that know different languages. Knowing different languages is great because you can use it to your advantage. The best time I've done it is I live in Glasgow, so when I do the Edinburgh Festival, I drive back and forward. And one time they were doing roadworks, but no one was ever out working. So day five, day six, day seven, nothing's happening. So I drive a little bit faster. One of the days I'm driving, I see a siren behind me. And I think, well, I better slow down and let them get to whatever emergency they're going to. And as I slowed down, they came right in behind me. And I knew what I'd been doing, so I made a split-second decision I was going to pretend that I was deaf, right? It's not my proudest moment, but I think we can all agree it's better to save money. So... <laughs> so the policeman gets out of his car, walks towards me, so the first thing I do is switch off the radio, because... <laughs> I'm, I'm not an idiot. And I put the window down, obviously I can hear, and he says, can I see your license plate and registration? And I signed him, and I went, which means, sorry, I'm deaf. And I could see the policeman panic. And I was like, this is going to be so much easier than I thought. I thought, let's ramp the pressure up in this guy. So I signed twice more, I went, sorry, I'm deaf, sorry, I'm deaf. See, for the next 20 seconds, I had to try so hard not to laugh. <laughs> not so happened before, what happened next? He believed that I was deaf and started speaking to himself, trying to work out a plan not realising I could hear literally everything he is saying. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the car, and all I can hear is this policeman go, shit, um, what should I do, what should I do? Oh, oh no, deaf, not blind. Um, uh, this wasn't in the training. And then it was like the light bulb moment, and he shot up, and he tapped me in the shoulder. If you ever meet a deaf person, really good deaf awareness. And I turned around, and he tried to sign to me, and I realised within about three seconds that he knew no sign language. So he tapped me in the shoulder, he pointed at me and went... Oh, just go, just go, just go. And I swear to God, it was the best moment of my life until I forgot what I was doing. Because when he said, just go, I turned around and went, oh, thank you very much, mate, I really appreciate it. But, uh, I've been Ray Bradshaw, enjoy your night, bye-bye.